Hey guys, Nicole Dyer, Bloombird Studio here. I just wanted to show you something that I do to my um, smaller stencils so that you have a little bit more room to hold on to and a little bit more um, area for overspray to block for the overspray. And this is something that I had learned from Julie Faye Fan Balzer um, that she does. So really the credit is all hers because this was totally not my idea. Um, but I figured I would show you since I know a lot of people have questions about how they store their stencils and things like that. So this is um, duct tape. And there's all kinds of different duct tapes. So that's even a fun part is picking out cool duct tape to use for the borders. And I measure just a little bit over um, the length of the stencil, maybe even more, I'm not exact at all. Okay, and then I lay this down. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, you don't obviously want to cover anywhere where you have, you know, cut out for your stencil. So you just want to go a little bit um, away from that so you don't ruin your stencil image there. So just a little bit push it down so there's not I mean you can see that's how much of the stencil right there and all the rest is extra and then I take this and fold this up so that it basically lines up with the other side of the tape and push it down okay so it's not that difficult and then, I don't know if you need to trim the sides every time, but I do just to make sure I don't screw it up. And you keep trimming as you go. Be careful not to cut your stencil, obviously. <clears throat> and then I'll do one of the sides over here to show you kind of how I do that. I always cut it again longer than I probably need to, but I'd rather cut more off than waste a piece of tape because I cut it too short. Okay, so again, and I'm probably not real straight or perfect with this because I'm just not that precise of a person. But again, it's just that little bit right there. Push it down so it's on there. Sticky. And then fold it over. Voila. And then here, this is what I wanted to show you. You're gonna cut so that it matches with this side. So it makes, you know, perpendicular angle there. Okay, and then you just do that for all the sides. I'm sure you don't wanna see me do all that until you have this. And I'll show you how I store my stencils. Again, another Julie Fay Fan Balzer tip that I, use um, the project life pocket pages are awesome for storing especially like here's Julie's balzer bits they're awesome for in there um, and here's the bigger ones for some of the bigger um, masks really I guess they are and I even have some little scrapers that I threw in here um, but I have my bigger stencils in here Okay. Even some that I made that I cut out of magazines. And for the smaller ones, I just have the smaller ones in here. So, obviously, stencils like these. Um, you can't put the tape on there. That's not going to work. So, obviously I haven't done all these either. So I'm a little behind, but... Um, yeah, so again, Julie Faith Ann Balzer. This was um, tips that I took off of her. But I love it. This is my favorite way to store stencils 
as of today. Like, I've tried other things, they just didn't work. They get tangled up when you stick them together. And this just seemed to work really nice. Um, and obviously, you know, hey, if I have a blank space, then I either didn't put one away or um, it's missing. So I started writing names of them on there. And that just got to be a pain and putting them back exactly where they needed to go. I'm just too lazy. So, um, yeah, this is my favorite way of doing stencils, storing my stencils. And um, I'd love to hear how you guys like to store your stencils. I'm always interested in hearing different ideas and um, ways people do that and store their art supplies. Um, so feel free to let me know in the comment section in the video. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.